you know, like, it's weird coming back to digital and seeing, like, how much has changed since mm-hmm. we left. But, like, I hear Taroni's not doing a good job as president. Yeah, who chose him? I think we did. Dang. Mm. Oh, what's up, Huskies? I'm Stephen Brown. I'm Trent Volkman. Welcome to the Report. Uh, here are today's announcements. Drivers, if you have a parking permit purchased for only $5 in your car, you're subject to a very expensive ticket or tow. Go visit Miss Loring's student store and pick one up if you still haven't. Black Student Union has received a sponsorship for a bus to the Black College Expo on February 1st. There will be colleges from historically black colleges and universities uh, that will be accepting seniors on the spot. Representatives will also look at underclassmen's transcripts to see if you are on the right path for acceptance. The deadline for signups will be January 28th. Go see Mr. Ford in room 266, reserve your spot on the bus, or if you have further questions about the event. Attention science and engineering fair pay, uh, bleh, participants. Participants. <laughs> There's a mandatory meeting today during lunch in room 241 to update your progress. Uh, we'll meet on the following Wednesday on January 22nd, so have your project done and be ready to share on January 28th. The best projects will be selected to represent Chino Hills at the District Science and Engineering Fair on February 18th. But wait guys, there's more. Mr. Mr. Moore. Moore. Oh, thanks guys. Ah, good morning students. <laughs> <laughs> good morning Huskies. Uh, AP students, quick announcement. If you have not purchased your AP exam for this year, the last chance to buy it is Friday, January 17th. You can purchase your AP exam online or at, uh, at the student store. Second announcement, still regarding AP. Uh, regarding AP, students that want to take an AP class next school year, so for uh, the 2020-2021 school year. AP night is fast approaching. It is next Wednesday, January 22nd. AP night will take place beginning at 6 p.m. in the large gym. This will be an opportunity for prospective AP students to come out, get some information about what AP classes are, uh, the impact they have on your transcript, and just you as a student. You also have the opportunity to hear feedback from these te- the teachers that teach AP classes, uh, and they can give you some insight on um, what you need to be prepared and what the expectations will be. So don't miss out. Additionally, students that attend the AP night will receive priority registration for those classes. <laughs> Lastly, all students, all Husky students, um, the superintendent of Chino Valley Unified School District would like to hear back from you. As you walk through Center Eyes, you will see QR codes. We'll, um, please scan the code and take the survey. Teachers, I'm asking you if you could give a chance to, for students to take the survey during second period. It would be much appreciated. Uh, the last day to take this survey will be Friday, January 17th. Uh, the code will be provided in this video. It's just your opportunity, students, for you to sound off to the superintendent about your uh, likes and dislikes about school and what we could do to make it better. Uh, I want to give you guys a quick example of how this code has been, uh, how this survey has been impactful. If you look around this year, you will see that there's somebody on campus every day and their job on campus is to just clean student bathrooms. Uh, that feedback came from this survey. Students uh, complained about the bathrooms needing to be clean and they, they wanted cleaner bathrooms. And so for that, the superintendent opened up another job for a custodian specifically just to clean student bathrooms. And the, just this school got it. Did not happen at all schools and it was directly correlated to your survey responses. So please participate in the survey and make sure that you provide your feedback. It's much appreciated. Thank you and go Huskies. And that was a whole lot of more. Thanks, Mr. Moore. Music and hockey fans, our own choir will be singing the national anthem of the Ontario Rain game next Monday at 3 o'clock. Remember, we don't have school that day, and tickets are only $20 for the game. Swing by Mrs. Rutherford's choir room, room 192, for tickets and more information. Huskies, CHHS is holding a hygiene drive. This is for the Chino Care Closet and looking for toothpaste, toothbrushes, shampoo, or conditioner, deodorant, or body wash to donate. There will be a donation box in the ASB quad whenever you can drop anything off. See Ms. Coyote or Deb in ASB if you have any questions. Hungry Huskies, the Bot Academy wants your input for the Husky Cafe. Please scan the QR code you see on the screen and now to provide input on what food and drink items you want us to make. Super Smash players, the biggest tournament yet will be held January 24th at 4 o'clock. We are competing alongside Ayala, Del Nugo, and Chino High School, so come out for some Smash. It's only a $5 entry fee. Contact the Smash Club at chhsmashclub at gmail.com for more information on how to get signed up. 
Seniors, if you're interested in attending Mount SAC in the fall or summer, there will be one more application workshop on January 22nd. Sign up in the Career Center. ROP class registration is still open. Gaining experience in retail marketing, assisting a veterinarian, working in a pharmacy, careers in education, working in a hotel, computer repair, and so much more. Stop by the Career Center today to learn more. Don't wait, some classes have already started. We are revising how we do sports schedules and scores on the Hills Report. On Mondays, we will post all the most recent scores we were able to gather. And on Wednesdays, we will post all the upcoming games and matches you can check out through the following Tuesday. In order to post scores, please make sure your coaches put them on chhuskies.com as soon as possible after the games. With that said, here are the most recent sports schedules we are able to gather. Here's a special announcement from ASB. Huskies! Make sure to come out to our home basketball game this Friday at 6.30 against Upland. It's a blackout game, so make sure to wear black. We're having our very first halftime half-court shot, so come down and try to make the half-court shot. If you get it, you may, may not get cheap for you, you know? Never know. Yo! <laughs> See you there! For those going out for swim and dive in the spring, there will be a mandatory swim and dive meeting on Wednesday, January 22nd at 3 o'clock in the aquatics pool. You cannot participate in trials so you have been cleared by the athletic trainer, so get your athletic physical done as soon as possible. Visit the athletic center or chhuskies.com for more information. Remember everyone, if you have an announcement you want mentioned in the Hills Report or you'd like to be an anchor, be sure to email your request at School at gmail.com. Also, we now have an Instagram. Follow the Hills Report team at chhshillsreport. So I just let go of what I know I don't know. Hi, I'm Amaya, and you've probably seen these boards all around campus. Well, this is the Hear My Howl campaign hosted by Chino Hills High School's Journalism. And this is essentially a campaign where students have the opportunity to share their voices and why they matter. This is giving voices to the voiceless, and we also offer anonymous options. And I know. That's it for today. Remember to be safe, respectful, responsible, and ready to learn every day. Have a great day, everyone. So Joker sucks. Um, it doesn't deserve does 11 Oscars. It does not deserve 11 Oscars. Maybe two. Wrong. At best.